Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Valhalla, or VA Stroke 11, Hall Stroke A, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And I know very little about this game, other than it looked very, very pretty when I walked past it at PAX West 2016, I want to say? Yeah, but this is more of a chill game. We've been doing a lot of shooty McShoot bangs lately, and I want to do something a, a little bit more slower and, uh... A little bit more slower, yeah, that's the words. A little bit slower and more deliberate. Um, but I do want to kind of watch the opening sequence so we can tell what's going on here. So let's uh, let's go to that. Uh, okay, so my understanding of this is it's more of a visual novel type thing. So we're going to have plenty of chill time, plenty of opportunity to have a little drinky drink. And we're actually going to be serving drinks as part of the game. So, you know, appropriate stuff, appropriate stuff. <clears throat> Glitch City, 2070 XAD. They shouldn't exist. It's Haxhaven, where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. Alright, pretty typical to real life. This place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines. <laughs> Leave them a check, blah 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 blah. Hope that wasn't important. I missed the last half of that. Vitality in all its forms is an everyday reality. Yeah, welcome to real life. Quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. It's been overwhelming. It's their jobs, their families, doing their studies, and look for ways to escape. And others just give up. Oh, that's rough. That is actually kind of rough. Answer lies at the bottom of glass. Way ahead of you. Mm. Oh, that's good shit. <clears throat> Smaller than just seconds away from the main street. Somewhere near the sun, you find the Hall A of the BTC. <laughs> yeah, 11. All right, well... Here's kind of the title drop, Valhalla. There we go. Oh, this is the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Oh boy, sounds like my kind of place. This is where this story unfolds. All right, well, we have to discover said story and see what our role in this is all about. So let's go ahead and get started. Best played, getting comfortable, grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. All right, well, you know what? I'm halfway there. Cheers. Cheers, intro screen. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa, hey, whoa, all right. We are dropped right into the bar. And somebody is trying to talk to us. What? Yeah, what? Whoa, Jesus. Oh. All right, well, you didn't scare me, but whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a good entrance. It's just kind of cute. Oh, oh, it's a little glitchy, though. Weird. Good first. <laughs> okay, we're breaking the fourth wall already. That's fine. That's cool. <clears throat> Is there a bunch of taking a tuxedo clad corgi? What? Dogs can't wear suits. <clears throat> A little prank. Oh, what are you talking about? 90% how you take it. Focus on look at the brighter side of things. Well, whatever. Having a drink and looking at an anime cutie. How, how bad can life possibly be? Oh, yeah, the brighter side is totally fine. Jeez, good advice. Thanks. In any case, you should totally check that parcel I just got. Uh, sure. I have an inventory. Oh. Oh, okay, it's like, uh, <laughs> I hope it didn't crash. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's just, damn it. Oh, why is all the best shit only a dream? Oh, near the door. Oh, that must be the parcel. The first chapter, literally spelled out, Primera, first. Membership to Shining Finger, oh, okay. Uh, we'll automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Be sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. That sounds like a pretty handy app to have. I can now browse the augmented eye. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, who's that letter from? Nobody. <laughs> this is way too cute already. Apparently I've got a pink shirt with the word slut on it. That's fine. How did they get into my closet? All right, can we click around here? All right, hold to unlock. Let's unlock. Let's take let's take a little peek at our phone. Uh, let's well, let's save. We did a lot of work so far, so let's save. 
we woke up, and sometimes that's about the best you can do for the day. Let's look some tunes. Oh, wait, I actually like that other tune. Can, can we just... Yeah, all right, that's good. AE, I'm guessing this is Augmented Eye. Mass integration continues as and lands are the newest threat. Cyborg and heals return. Uh, all right, let's re read some stuff, I guess. And Quincy reveals new economic adjustments. Inflation rates highest in, highest in the world. Constant shortage of basic groceries. Ugh. Ram rampant violent crime. Season so look for a better life in other countries. Learn our skills and friends. Blah blah blah. Fly what they learned somewhere else. I find it rather insulting. Oh boy. I'm uh, getting vibes of overarching uh, dictatorial bullshit going on here. Comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts is considered to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit. <laughs> Alright, well, straight shooter right from the hip. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to my security. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I uh, thought I was good at cracking the most complicated security for all calls. This new group will certainly blow my mind. It's going to make an impact as big as Alice friends. Blah, 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 blah. Full access to Quincy's email network and release the whole database in January. Oh no! They have the emails! That's unfortunate. Oh, Mr. Quincy dismissed all the group's threats by saying he's not high. Okay, alright, so we, we, got, we, got a, we got a name. We got Quincy. And we got, what was, the, what was the name of this group? Alice Rabbit, supposedly. Saying he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Yeah, usually you don't need to worry too much about email. It's your browsing history is where they get you. Everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Ha ha ha. Very, very prescient. New behind the Wonderlander seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream from Anthro to Bunny Girl versus the show of love and respect they have for blah 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 blah. Follow their example while having some fun. Alright, yeah, see, so looking on the bright side of things. Well, that's good. Not sure this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. Alright. Uh, should we even read this last one? Let's do it. <clears throat> Super Silver Thunderdome. Interesting name. Pop the show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March. Tickets going on sale in January. Blah, 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 blah. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels and cutting stuff. All right, well, you, you got me at cutting stuff, I guess. That's literally something we've never seen before in niche market. I'm willing to capitalize on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, shit. There was some other sh stuff going on here. I probably should have read that. Uh. Aw. All right, cool. We got some banter back and forth going with uh, Jill, which is presumably me sitting there, and four? I'm gonna guess that's the cat. Eh, whatever. Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Yeah, I'm playing it. It's a nice, chill game. Something a little bit different than what we've been doing lately. Gives me plenty of time to drink. Hmm. Okay. What was the other banter I missed here? I don't think so, this whole thing. Alright, they are dropping a bunch of names here that I'm, I hope I'm gonna learn about later. Alright, so we read the news. Uh... Can we add an app? We can't add an app. Can we add an app? We can't add an app. And we can't click on anything. So let's, uh, let's go to work. Why not? Let's go to work. It is apparently December 13th. Good evening. Uh, I, I think Jill is me, right? Good evening. Ah, hey there. Whoa. Hello. Just appear out of the shadows. Does everybody just appear out of the shadows nowadays? Or what's what's the deal? Hey, John. All right, we got a name. John, how you doing? Oh, he's got the little anime sweat drop thing going on. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> that's not his name. Awesome. I love it. So that's Gil, apparently. I'm sorry, Jillian. Gil. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. You let people call me Jules. Oh. Heh, <laughs> quiet. Okay, you look distracted. Well, I just kind of came into this world, alright? Just give me a second to get my bearings. Where's boss? I don't know, she went out to buy some stuff and... Hear what I just told you? She went out to buy some stuff! I've been listening! Don't you worry, man! Come on! Lol. Very, very distracted. Well, I was reading the news on my phone and it wasn't great. Thinking about stuff appropriately vague. What stuff? Pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and. Ah. Also, the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Hey, don't don't freak out about talking to yourself, Jill. I do it all the time. I just mentioned the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Oh, that might put a damper on things, though. 
Oh, there's a life being shaken up. I'm apparently going crazy. Hey, join the club, honey. Top of that, Noonering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent. Okay, so apparently 4 is my cat. Excellent. Good shit to know. There are all the beer that's <laughs> around my apartment and good lord, we are thinking about a lot of things, aren't we? Yes, bring us back to the forefront here, Gil. You really work today? Uh, I'm gonna have to. I guess I need the money for rent and shit, right? Go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Yep, that's a good idea. Make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Alright, well I guess it is important to know how to mix drinks. Sugar Rush, alright. Navigation bar and the recipe book that will show up on the top left. Okay, alright, top left. Also store drinks by flavors like sweet or types like me. <laughs> do they, in, in the year of our lord, 2070X, do we really need to describe drinks as manly? I don't think we need to do that. Hey, dinner, how you doing? Good to see ya. Now you have the desired amount of greens from the cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Okay. No. When done, press the mix button, then press it again to stop mixing. Okay. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve, and that'll be all. Okay, if the drink looks messed up, you need to press the reset button and try again. Gil, seriously, listen to me, brah. I mix a pretty damn fine drink. I'm never gonna mess up. <clears throat> you can press reset any time, even while the shaker's moving. Don't be afraid to use it. I'm never gonna use it. All these drinks are gonna be perfect. Formal BTC instruction, blah, 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 blah. Should be no problem. Yeah, at least I. Sugar Rush or a Piano Man. If I mess up the ingredients here, drink and press reset button and try again. All right. Play me a song, the Piano Man. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad we got both sides covered. Piano Man and Piano Woman. All right. Oh, boy. $320 for that? Holy shit. Man, inflation is really a bitch in the year 2070X, huh? Two Adel oh, uh, one. Two Adelhyde, three Bronson Extract. Five Powder Delta, Jesus. And three Karmatrine, one Dose Trace. And mixed. All right. But how mixed is mixed? There. What? What do you mean, fail? That was fucking mixed as hell! Alright, retry. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be using reset a bit. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, mix. Alright, how about that? What? What? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Oh, ice! Whoops, I forgot the ice. <laughs> I forgot the ice. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I should read things. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Mixy mix. What? What is you? Hum. <sighs> All right. What was the other thing you wanted? You wanted the sugar rush or whatever, yeah? Sugar rush is two anilhyde, one powder delta. God, I hope all this wasted ingredients doesn't come out of my salary. That would suck. It's optional karma train. Yeah, let's throw it in there. Optional mud butt. Bump, 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 bump. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna let it mix a little bit. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bump, bump. Hey, like, what do they want from me? Fucking one, two, powder delta. All right, fuck the karma train then. Mix it. Like, do I have to, uh, oh, we're gonna let it run its course here. Okay, is that, is that enough mixing? All right, here, drink that shit. Oh, okay, there's something I'm not getting here, I guess. What was the other one, the Piano Man, right? Let's go back to this one. Uh, okay, so two analog, right? Three rounds next, right? Five powder deltas. Five, five, and three karma tree. On the rocks. Mix it up. Bum, bum, bow, bum, 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 bum. 14 to 17 hours to clear the game on the first try. All right, we're gonna be playing this for a while now. 
Tell me a tip that appears in the first version of this game, but not in this version. Uh, yeah, let me get this first drink kind of worked out here. Alright, I'm just gonna let it fucking shake the hell out of itself here. Because apparently I'm bad at mixing drinks. Fail! I messed up the ingredients or the drink and press the reset. <laughs> Alright, I can't mix an empty thing, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's give this one more go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'm not alright, I'm not I'm not flubbing on the numbers here. Mix. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I fucked it up. Alright, that's right. We'll get we'll get it. We'll get it. Oops. Ah, I fucked that one up. One. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Mixy mix. All right, I feel like I don't have much say in this here. So, at the risk of being a big dumb idiot, we're gonna go back to the really simple one. All mixed, okay. Is this supposed to like show up here or something? Hey, we did it! Somehow we did it. All right, there you go. Fucking take your sugar rush, you ass. Uh. Oh, did I forget? Oh. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, Q, W, huh? All right, I'll have to get to that when we do the mixing. Let's do one more. All right, fine. What are we doing? Please humor me. All right, need to be blended. Done by mixing it for over five seconds. Okay. Also good, good, good tip. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age buttons on the side, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. Thank you, G uh, Gil. This is my first time mixing drinks, all right, buddy? You little shit. You know that the station will add the ice after mixing. Okay. Well, that's nothing you should mind, though. Just a fun fact. Good tip there, Gil. Thanks. Moonblast. Mm. All right, Moonblast, what do you got? All right, wait a minute, so you're, you're telling me I missed something before. Damn it, I was using the wrong thing, wasn't I? I was, I totally skipped over the Flanergiad or whatever. Hey Sam, how you doing? No, no, this is a different cyberpunky game. The other one I was playing was uh, 2064 Read Only Memories. That one was fun as hell. And this one's already kind of got me captivated, so whatever. All right, what am I making? A moon blast, right? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta, one flanergide, and two carmatines. All on the rocks and blended. Shake it, shake it. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Yeah, we did it. Here, eat that shit. Yeah, let's get to work. I bet we've got a line of customers that's at least three feet long by now. What? Make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Oh boy. Sounds like my kind of drink. The recipe already has over ten ingredients. The drink is already big. Okay, good info. It says it uses optional karma tree and it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Alright. Uncountor's making a big drink, of course. Alright. Alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. All right, so Carmatrine is the year 2070X's vodka, apparently. Mm. <clears throat> How weird would that be, cosplaying cyberpunk at a Ren fair? I feel like that's irony level maximum, and they would have all rights to kick me out. Good thing I don't do that. <clears throat> Blah, 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 blah. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Or, well, what if our clients want to get drunk faster, right? Alright, he's done exposing. <laughs> Dana! Hi, Dana. Oh, but... Uh? Oh, found her while I was out shopping. Ah, alright. Cool. Either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious... But Oh, she's unconscious. Do you have, like, some sort of rope or something? Ah, fuck it. That's details we don't need to worry about. Going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Okay. 
Oh, was she the boss that we were talking about before? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Two of you, believe in yourselves. <laughs> How appropriately anime. Think Chief knocked her out. Eh, it's unlikely that she'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. Not like her to pick up, pick on such a small girl <laughs> who's not unprovoked. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh man. Just need to keep it quiet. Seems to be sleeping soundly, not comatose. All right. Time to start the night. All right, let's mix some drinks and make some money, and have our own drink, I guess. Ah, it's good shit. We spent the whole weekend on Monday doing God knows what. I've had some interesting clients come in. That means that bathroom is a fucking mess, I bet, right? Dogs, lots of them. Oh, they were talking about corgis and suits before, yeah. I kind of want to make a joke like that. Well... Punishment for leaving you to deal with all that on my lonesome. You'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Yeah, suck it, Gil! Have fun. Is that fine? See, no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Hell if I know. Oh. Fine. Good. Finally. Can we get to mixing some drinks? Goodness me. Wait, whoa, wait, what? Oh man, we get to build our own fucking playlist for the evening? That's rad as hell. Alright. Oh, I guess we- Oh man, there's so many- There's so many songs! Ridiculous! Alright, cool, we're just gonna pick at random. Just because I have no idea what any of these sound like. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Loading preview, loading preview. That's very downbeat. We need something like really good. Really get the blood a flowing here. That sounds good. How about everything will be okay? God, why are these so depressing? Come on, this is cute anime bartender simulator. Let's get some let's get some energy in here. Ah, that sounds better. How about re-snowfall? Yeah, there we go. Good city? Yeah, okay, that sounds good enough. One more, one more, one more. How about Neo Avatar? Yeah, there we go! That's bumping an upbeat. Let's do it. <clears throat> and to mix drinks and change lives, that's right. The humble oath of the bartender to mix drinks and change lives. Whoa, Jesus, dude! You can't just come out the shadows like that, man. I was drinking. Hmm. You need me to hear me say cor corgi correctly? What? Why? <laughs> is is there a is there a wrong way I've been saying it? Corgi, right? Ah, oh. not a dog person. I don't know. Hey, you give me a beer. I don't know what's in a beer. Is a beer in a beer? Like a, like quite the big guy though, so maybe he wants a double beer. Alright, let's do a, let's give him a good old double beer. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, the first customer is getting a fucking double beer. Yeah, have your beer, my friend. <clears throat> did did I did I say Corgi? I don't know, man. Next, you'll be trying to get me to pronounce GIF versus GIF or something, and that's something I won't I won't do. All right, here, have your beer, my friend. Yeah, there. See, there's a smile. Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> Certainly use a presence like my- What are you talking about? We got the cool jams, I just gave you a nice beer. I don't need any of that lip. <clears throat> Work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey the third. <laughs> wah wah, suck it New Jersey. Uh. Huh. 
What kind of work do you do, Mr. Uh, Donovan? Donovan. Talking to Donovan D. Dawson. Oh, boy. Your parents must have hated you. Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Hey, I read your bullshit rag on my phone this morning. Nothing gets published there without my blessing. Well, good. Now I have you to blame for all that garbage. Oh, the interesting fellow. Yeah, no shit. See the... <laughs> <laughs> See, Jill gets me. We oh, won the blame for the barrage of daily articles in Alice Rabbit then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Do they? Do they though? All the card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the claim. <laughs> what is this, buzz speed for 2070X? Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Well, I mean, if you're gonna lean into capitalism, lean all the way the fuck into capitalism, I guess. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Ugh, okay, whatever. I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Hey, I don't, I don't actually mind hacker news every now and again. It isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. <laughs> Lol. Can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one. Yeah. First of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Yeah, go figure. I think it'll help make them full-time employees, but apparently not. It's just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Yep, capitalism through and through, everybody. Ain't it the best? <clears throat> bow, 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 bow. Second is tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. No, that shit's really fucking twisted too, my friend. <laughs> I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. <laughs> oh dear, it's like they're channeling 2017 in the year of our Lord 2070X. The pressure and problems as is, don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. Here, here. Smart than I look, kid. Thanks, Donovan. More people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Aw, oh, damn. Wouldn't that be a shame? Maybe my job would be easier. How uh, so? People get this, uh, desensitized? Come on, man. I know I made you a big-ass beard, but still. It's been like three minutes. Desensitized is the word you were looking for. Certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly? Yeah, that's true, I guess. Starting this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee- Ugh. That's twisted. Elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Jesus, fuck, man! Ugh. Oh, cripes. This guy is twisted as hell. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. Oh, God. I like those urban legends. They're usually write about and you can make up any shit you want. Maybe I shouldn't have given this guy a big beer. And while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see you. Brings money. Like I said, money's good. Oh, I guess I can't argue with money being good. <laughs> Jill, honey, you and I see an eye to eye. What about the opinion columns? Are those a good source of traffic? Oh, I hate those rats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why newspapers are dying. You might also write about how everyone that looks like a certain sum. Ah. Uh, I don't know what the hell this guy is talking about here. <clears throat> that they know no half our clicks come from this, so they can all diva like on my ass. Oh boy. Being too harsh. What about No wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> Good cover. Good fucking cover. Oh man. Hit on the restaurant critique column, uh shit, forgot that brat's name. Nice. Alright. Restaurant, I believe that's that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Alright. Oh, hey, he got that phrase right. Couldn't care less. He didn't say could care less, because that's demonstrably false. Column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Oh, oh, that's twisted. He still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. What, like Michelin three-star bullshit? Didn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. Not so. He barely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. He already tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Well, does it work? <laughs> does it work? Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. Aw, that's too bad. 
You look like a fat child with a really small face. <laughs> okay, Donovan, you're starting to grow on me a little bit. Uh, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. I just gave you a beer, man. We've been talking for like five minutes. When did you drink that thing with all the gab that we were doing here? Ugh. Alright, well, we're not gonna give him a big beer this time. We'll just give him a normal ass beer. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Mixy, mix, 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 mix. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Yeah, it's a beer. Damn straight. It'll get better. Hey, I don't need your sass, Mr. Newspaper Editor Man. Well, Newspaper of the Future Editor Man, I suppose. You see how many celebrities in, uh, in this hellhole? I don't know, you're literally the first customer I've seen. <laughs> Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. That's right. This place smells like soap and dog piss. <laughs> hey, come on, Gil is working on that bathroom, alright? Give him a minute. <laughs> Gil, don't worry about it. We're not talking about you, buddy. Just go back to cleaning the bathroom, all right? <laughs> Nobody important. Lol. <laughs> don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not me. Uh, I guess that's true. There's a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you'd like. I don't, I don't know that that distinction is really that valuable, but whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> celebrities. Nope, no celebrities. You have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. Are you t Donovan, are you talking about yourself? Are you claiming yourself as a VIP here? What an ass. And it's second, because I've always forgot to record and say, Hey, it's people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. You pretend to love, but actually want to see you. Ooh. Oh, music got a little bit more jazzy now. That's good. Pretend to love fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip up face? People always sell it because people dig that shit for some reason. You want to see their idols torn down to their level? Yeah, I mean, you can get some serious Schadenfreude going on. But just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. Yeah, guilty pleasures and all that, right? Ugh, excuse me. Not wrong, but even if you're right, you wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. Alright, Jill. You and I are friends. What about here if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or their dad? <laughs> I don't know, socks with sandals is pretty fucking scandalous. They're dating God knows who. Yeah, that's some bullshit that nobody cares. Well, nobody should care about. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Public indecency. Oh, please. The bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. It makes the night go faster, alright, Donovan? Please. Don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Right. Sensationalize is the key word here. Yeah, that's right. I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girls wear into the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. Hey, true enough. Well, it's because they're ones constantly, constantly cultivating the idea that perfect and untouchable. Yeah, I guess that's true. Static locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of because they can afford it for some reason. I oh, the craving, those little moments when they make a mistake. Lol. That's, that's a lie. Sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. I don't know if that's happened recently. Oh, this particles didn't help. Sensationalizing everything. Blah, 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 blah. They like your big words. Well, hey, you're the dude that couldn't remember desensitized, you little fuck. You're gonna play that game of... Yeah, yeah, what, what? What big word were you about to drop on me, Donovan, huh? Oh dear, what? Oh, I'm a lab rat hellbent on World Conquest. Hell yeah. I like that. 
I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Well, yeah, I guess in the past 36 minutes I've heard just your story, Donovan. Boom, 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 boom. About changing topics, yeah, no shit, right? Maybe, why? Wouldn't she like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It'd be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated in the lit. Oh. Whoa, that's rough. You just tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. Personal stranger of sorts. That's right. That's right. I can be down with that. Ghostwriter, huh? I don't know. From what I understand, writers don't get paid shit. I don't really think that Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Well, who the hell... One, who the hell is Lana Smithy? Answer me that, Donovan. Anyway... Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. I don't know whether that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. I don't know if I agree with that, but... The night is still young. Hurt the clients too, I guess. <laughs> Lol. Afterthought. You ever retire? That offer is waiting for me. Like, alright, so this dude comes in, insults our bar, insults my bar. I'm gonna take ownership of it. And now he's offering me a fucking ghostwriting job? I don't get this dude. Yeah, like you remember me two weeks from now. Lol. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Um. Yeah, what's what's your deal, man? Okay, weird. Mr. Oh my god, this dude. Do you want another drink or not? Like, make your choice. Mr. Dawson or Boss. Oh, Donovan's his first name. That's why. That's why he's getting all giddy about it, I guess. <clears throat> uh, my father and grandfather is too general. Mr. Donovan, that's more like it. Okay, whatever. Uh, from the nice feeling, that's my position as boss to me. All right, okay. Oh, God's no one. I want them to fear me. <laughs> Not because of their boss and they're fearing in their paychecks. Because I strike moral dread into them. This guy is a fucking right asshole, isn't he? I mean, he's a he's a paying customer, so I can't like go off the handle on him. But still, I don't like this guy. I'm asking you something. What was it? Yeah. Do you want another drink or not? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Third time's a charm. Give you a beer. All right. Fine. What fucking ever. I should probably know the recipe by heart by now, but I don't. Oh, okay. I'm trying one, two, three, four, five. It's not... Oh, okay, it's QWRTY. Well, that's going to be a problem since my keyboard is not in QWERTY format. So we're just going to do the whole drag and drop thing. One, two, and one, two, three, four. This is the weirdest way to make a beer I've ever seen. But whatever. Here you go. Have your beer, you little shit. I don't know what you're gonna ask. Is it about how to be successful? Dude, if I wanted to know about success, I wouldn't ask you. Burn. Well, it's about stuff from those shitty How to Get Rich books. <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Well, not exactly. How did you start in this business? There we go. Let's get to some, like, real cool shit, then. It's really an important newspaper, Neo San Francisco. What's up with all the Neo cities in the future? Wait, what was the one in 2064? Wasn't that also Neo San Francisco? Neo San Francisco, 2064. That sounds about right, right? There's a big mess involving a head editor being defen- Wait, can a person be defenestrated? I thought that was normally reserved for buildings. Uh, about the whole thing, and uh, I guess that could apply to a person, a person's finances, right? <clears throat> yeah, so it's still the HQ, and most of the revenues come from here. I don't know, apparently Neo San Francisco seems to be a hotbed of cyberpunk activity, come to think of it. Being in Glitch City means at least 30% extra earnings. So well, that's a smart move. Quite a mess. Made a picky news website as a business, <laughs> because we don't have enough of those in the year of our Lord 2017, apparently. Not as fun. I decided up on a whim. May as well have ended up with a hairdressing chain card on Marcello. Anyway, I've got to go. Are all the orders paid for? I don't know. How much were those beers? Thank you. Come again. Yeah, alright, and then they disappear into shadows too. 
Man, I want to know how people phase in and out of existence like that. That seems like a good skill to have. Oh my god, Gil, what? Are you done cleaning that bathroom yet? Dude, I told you. Five corgis in suits were here over the weekend. I told you to clean the bathroom. <laughs> like I said, corgis in suits. The ceiling, the sink. What? How did. What? Okay, now that takes a little skill to get it on the ceiling. Fire Rose. I have a feeling that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. I won't forget this. Alright, alright. Alright, Gil, you just do the whole anime fade-out thing, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, cool, we got somebody new. What can I- Whoa! Jesus, man! Or... Whoever? Big gut punch, fast. Alright. A gut punch. One, two, three, four, but he wants its big style, so ten. One, two, we'll give him two karma trees, I guess. All aged and mixed. ba -bow. Here you go. Here's a gut punch. Oh, I can actually do it. I've got a fucking recipe book. Anybody could do it. <laughs> Man. Crack house is a bar. Hey, come on now. I've had somebody come in here and tell me the bar is a hellhole, a small hellhole, or a small hole located in hell, whatever, and now a crack house? Jeez, no respect. Yeah, exactly. See? Jill knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> like I said, Gil is working on the whole dog urine thing. <clears throat> At all, Mr. Uh... Yeah, well, all right, trying to strike up a conversation as is part of my job as a bartender here, dude. Like, what's your name? Mr. Ingram McDougal. <laughs> oh, that is probably the least edgiest name for all the edge this person is fronting here. Ah, Ingram, suck it. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. <laughs> but it's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday, dude. Is it Tuesday? Uh, if I pay you, will you come with me to a motel? Whoa, jeez. Very forward, but no thank you. Yes, thank you, Jill. No. N-O, period. I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. So you know what? That, that is something I can supply. That's, that is it. <laughs> Starfucker. <laughs> oh, that name still cracks me up, though. Starfucker is a good name. Uh, let me ask you why you decided to come to our bar, then. Even though you promptly called us a crack house. Recommended to me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. Hey, we got some chill tunes, we got... Adelheid and Bronson Extract and Powdered Delta and Carmatrine and Flannergide. Flannerguide. Is that a soft or a hard G, do you think? Eh, fuck it. Says so she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. <clears throat> Alright, well, never mind. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Boom! Boom! I picked the music, you shit! How do you like that? It's. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is he cleaning the bathroom with dish soap? <laughs> is that what I gave Gil to clean the bathroom with? That seems like a bad idea. Below the sink where it's always been. Nice. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. Yeah. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? Oh, no. Nothing. Alright. Can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. Oh, what? You mean Dana? Probably my boss. You don't- do you not like her? Whatever. Yeah, okay. Alright. Confirmed. Boss confirmed. I don't know her, but I know who she is. Alright. So you know of her, but you don't know her. Okay. Fair enough. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. Alright, fair enough. What does it take for me to get a cool nickname like that, though? 
<clears throat> the woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. All right. You know, that's a reason for a nickname. I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but that's pretty cool regardless. <clears throat> that's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. You and me both, Jill. Oh shit, she's got a mechanical arm? That's rad as fuck. How do I get one of those? A couple of stories with the sound too fantastical to be true. Interesting change of attitude. Yeah, now you're all chatty here, Ingram. What's the deal? Armed rioters with their bare hands. Shit, man. That's... <laughs> That's hardcore. When you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Yeah, I guess that's true. Interesting. Relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. Yeah, if you stop calling our bar a crack house, I won't let slip to boss about how you're being a dickhole. Class 5 weaponry, the other a pickup artist. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the latest head <laughs> back. Oh, goodness. An alpaca, yeah, exactly. What's the story on that? Not really an alpaca, but what, a llama? Aren't llamas alpacas and vice versa? Really drunk and she started screaming she was now- Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Spitting on everything afterwards. Yeah, okay, that's- that's not cool. That'll get you kicked out of many a bar, I suppose. Get you anything else? Pile driver. Whoa, jeez. Getting all fucking courteous and shit there, Ingram. All right, pile driver. Because you asked so nicely, we'll give you a big ass pile driver. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No ice, no age. Mixy, mix, 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 mix. Bim, boom, bam. Here you go. Bim, boom, bam. Have some. It's fine, I guess. Gee, alright. Don't break the bank on the compliments there, Ingram. Thanks. Little shit. <clears throat> hey, whoa! What kind of question is that? You ever faked an orgasm? That's... wow. Alright, that's quite a question. <laughs> that's about the only response you can give. But yeah, no shit. I think I heard wrong, too. What is that? Holy hell. Well, okay, we didn't hear wrong, Jill, I suppose, huh? Yeah, alright, good. We're not gonna answer that one, thank you. Alright, Ingram, you were on the upswing with us here, but now you took a fucking sharp-ass nosedive. Uh, how good a lie can be. Oh, fucking... Ugh. You know, sincere of people lie once in a while. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's a liar, I guess, Ingram, right? Buy you time. Lies can make you happy. But can they really? Wow. All right. Ingram, you came in with some severe edge. And you're starting to talk some weird philosophical shit, but whatever. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll entertain you as long as you keep paying for your drinks, I guess. They lies are like your porn stash. Oh. Where's- where's this comparison going? You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. What's wrong with acknowledging your porn stash? You gotta be free and clear and honest with yourself here, honey. Does that mean you've really faked organs? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. <laughs> look, alright, I know I mark my stream as mature. I know I curse a lot. I wasn't expecting this kind of level of NSFW stuff, so... <clears throat> if this is making anybody uncomfortable, I apologize, but this is actually getting interesting now, so whatever. A lot of experience, dot dot dot. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Yeah, it sure is random, I bet. You perhaps lying about something right now? <laughs> pow pow. Burn. Not really, just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Alright then, Ingram. Alright then. <clears throat> of course you were. Gonna need another drink here. Are you now? What would you like? Yeah, no shit. We've only been talking for like 10 minutes. A fringe weaver. 
All right, I'm not gonna make it a double this time because you seem to be having some crisis of motor mouth or whatever. Uh, whoa, Jesus, nine Karmatrines? That seems pretty powerful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Nice, all right. All aged and mixed. Ba -ba bam there you go. Try not to drink it too fast, no shit. That's up to you. I guess that is up to you. But I ain't hauling your fucking unconscious corpse out of here, so... You keep that in mind there, Ingram. Hmm. That's right. You gotta be proud of your porn stash there, Omega Weapon. Don't let anybody shame you for it. Ever felt empty? What? Okay, wait a minute. First you ask me if I've ever faked an orgasm. Didn't give you an answer, by the way. And now have I ever felt empty? Shit. What is this dude's deal? Like, hungry? <laughs> yeah, sure. Empty like there's a part of you missing. Oh, goodness. Can't say I particularly have. That's probably a lie, but we're gonna go with it. <clears throat> Just feel as if there's part of myself that lacks something. And you're filling it with booze, right? I mean, that's the next best thing. Urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Oh, talking about urges now, huh? Alright. Tried taking up a hobby. Yeah, that's right, shitlord. Get a hobby. Might not solve your problems, but might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Uh... <laughs> I can think of a few. You're not gonna like any of them, though. Collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat... Oh, combat sports sounds interesting and dangerous. Exercising sounds boring but very beneficial. A lot cheaper than the alternative. What, like drinking your problems away? Which is... <laughs> <laughs> Bitches and alcohol. Okay, well, I was half right. <clears throat> Sex tourism. Is that really a thing? Ah, who am I kidding? That's definitely a thing. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. Ew. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea, but whatever, that's just me. Earned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. <laughs> Alright, you know what, Ingram? You were a dick at first, but you're, you're, you're talking a little bit of sense here now. That's fine. I heard a girl to act like my dog. Oh! Uh... That's a little weird. I'm not gonna shame you out loud here, Ingram, but that's a little weird. Judging you on the inside. This, this fucking tense-ass music while we're talking about orgies and sex tourism and all that. I tried rescuing a puppy. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some good to society out of this. Whoa! Jeez! Whoa, Ingram! Fuck me! Fuck it! Dude! Don't fuck puppies! What are you doing, man? No! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shit. Shit, Ingram. Come on, man. He's very honest and direct, I will give him that. But still, this is, like, heading down to Creepy Town real quick-like. Help me, or to believe- what? Help you? I'm serving you drinks. That's what I'm- that's my job, dude. I'm not doing this especially for you. Titled little shit. Eh? Could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. Yeah? Well, were you? I have a feeling you are, but whatever. It's fine. People lie, lady. Yeah, yeah, we know. We've covered this, Ingram. Come on. I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Well, it didn't kill you to drink three of my drinks. Please come again. Don't count on it. Alright. Jeez. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Whew. I'm gonna take my break. Wait, we served two people and that's our break? I guess we did talk to him for like almost an hour, so whatever. Jeez. That is something else. My goodness. Which one, of, which one of these folks am I? I think I'm the center one, right? Jill? Yeah, I guess it's a good idea to save, probably. Burp, burp. Oh, I don't want to know. Alright, let's get out of here. It's now safe to keep playing. <laughs> I don't know if it's safe, but... 
I'm gonna keep playing anyways. Nice, 2069, beautiful copyright. Nice. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't get locked up this time. Wait, what? Didn't get locked up, what is, it? what? Let's, let's, what are you talking about there, Jill? Honey, talk to me. Oh, do we pick more shit? Oh, we can change the shit, huh? Um, I have a feeling this stuff affects stuff, but we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna change it up just a little bit. Cause so I'm feeling, I'm feeling nighttime maneuvers. Heck yeah, I'm feeling nighttime maneuvers. How about Sineth Stitch? Hell yeah, we're feeling Sineth Stitch. How about Reminiscence? Oh wait, we've already got Reminiscence, Never mind. sorry. How about Neon District? Oh yeah! Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba. <clears throat> uh, how about Skyline? Uh, nah, how about Karma Train Dream? Something a little down tempo. All right, that's good. How about Underground Club? This better be a bumping, yeah, bumping tune. All right, How about an alternate reality. Okay, that sounds good. Back in action. Whoa, good evening to yourself, Mr. Robot Dude, sir or ma'am. Good evening. Yeah, how are you gonna? How do you drink? Do you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, okay, it's somebody wearing a helmet. Oh, hey! Yes, that's much better, thank you. Very cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you watching for protect, huh? Master Specialist AP Azagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps. Okay. All right. Uh, say? We're going to go with Say. I, I'm probably still pronouncing that wrong, but can we just go with Say? That's a lot shorter. <clears throat> yes! Called it. Fucking called it. What can I get you, Say? Or Sai? Say. I'm going to go with Say, because I'm a stupid gringo who can't pronounce shit. The mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet isn't cool. Sweet isn't sweet, perhaps? But not cool. Oh my god, all right. Especially not isn't big. Okay, so we've got sweet and cool. Can't afford a hangover, all right. Yeah, shh. a sweet drink. Preferably a cold one that's not too big. Yeah. All sweet and icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. All right, all right. Let's go by sweet. Uh, something that's lightweight too. How about a piano woman? That seems kind of powerful. Let's not go with that. But a blue fairy. Yeah. All right. We'll go with that one. One, two, three, four. She doesn't want a hangover though, but I don't want to stiff her on the booze, so let's just put one in there. <clears throat> Oh, and icy though. Uh, sorry, we need something, uh, something on the rocks, I guess, huh? How about a Brantini? No. How about Sugar Rush? No. How about Moonblast? There we go. That that'll work. That'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powder Delta, one Flanagan, and two of those on the rocks. Mixy mix. Oh, and blended. All right, all right, all right. Shaka 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 shaka. Ba boom! Here you go. It's <laughs> you bought a tablet just to watch this in bed, huh? Okay. It sounds like a solid choice, my man. It sounds like a solid choice. Here you are. Just what you needed. Yeah, you're welcome. Say anything to anything for you. Any white knights as clients? I can only remember one other. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? These are the guys who deal with riots and such. The Blitzkrieg Corps. Oh boy. The names of these things. Oh boy. I don't know. Different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots. Well, what do you deal with? Are you bodyguards and shit? Oh. 
Aftermath. Clean up. Ew. Rescue, heal, and protect. Okay, you know, fair, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Wow, she is really taking all that stuff out of the employee handbook, isn't she? You know, fair enough. You gotta be dedicated to your job in this economy. <coughs> you watch this in the shower. Okay. Again, won't judge out loud. Wherever you want to watch the stream is fine by me. Light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who resist the victims of crime. Oh my god, do they really need to rhyme that shit? We watch, we protect. Huh, gee. What was that? Sorry, sort of our pledge of allegiance. Oh, yeah. Uh. We sat it every morning. Oh, what it means that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. Yeah, stuff. Okay. What kind of stuff? All right, yeah. Here we go. Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. So pretty much anything. Are you a doctor? More of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. All right. Well, that's important shit. A firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. To be appropriately vague about it. <clears throat> so it does sound like a very rough job, though. Also really rewarding, I can imagine. That isn't glad to see me when I arrive. Yeah, okay. I can, I can, I can imagine. Oh no, are we gonna get into the, some like gory ass war stories now? Seeing some people on the top of a collapsing building. Look down and I was blown away by how pretty the city uh Not quite the sights I was talking about, say, but alright. Saving me from myself. Cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash, water is pouring out of a hydrant, and there was a rainbow, right? Oh. No, no mention of a rainbow, but you know, close enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not quite what we were talking about by shock and sights, but whatever. Those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, shockingly beautiful, but... Okay, whatever. Yeah, never mind. Let's just, let's just let her keep her innocence, all right? Uh, no, no, say, say, you're fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Deem is the most frustrated sighs from people like... I don't know, Say. I've had some of my own deep sighs. <clears throat> don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Oh my goodness, she is uh, the inquisitive type. Don't worry too much about it. Yeah, let's try to redirect off of that, please. Finish your drink. Can I get you? Wow, Jesus, when did she have time to drink that? We've been gabbing this whole time. Classy. A classy drink. Can you be more... Please, yes, please be more specific. What? Don't make it too big. Does that work? I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. A classy. Okay. <laughs> There's classic and classy. Something that's not not big. What a cobalt velvet. That sounds neat. That seems powerful, though. We don't want to get her drunk. She's got an important job to do. Uh, how about a Brantini? Yeah, there we go. Eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> I like that. What else we got? How about a Mercury Blast? Hey, there we go. That sounds good. Animal hide. It's on the rocks. We got one bronze and extract, three powder delta, three flanergide, and two carmatrine. All blended. You blended yet? Bim boom bam, here. Here you are. The classiest of drinks that looks like it came served in a test tube. Ooh, Stella. Yeah, yeah, let's get some backstory. Dearest friend, not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known longest. I like these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? When did you drink? I didn't see you lift it. I didn't see you actually drink it. What? All right, whatever. Something stronger. I get quite a bit. Well, you you said you didn't want strong, all right? Like, you just give me a you give me a single word, classy, and that's what I got to work with, all right? You want something strong? I'll give you something stronger. That's fine. What is my name, by the way? I'm Jill, right? Call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. No, Gil is currently cleaning the bathroom. I think. <laughs> 
Jillian. Ju Julianne. Oh shit, she's gonna guess Jules, isn't she? No, do not call me Julianne. Uh, <sighs> sorry about that. Oh, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. All right, so she's nice. I like her. She's nice. A stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Look like a nice girl, Jillian. I don't like angering nice people. Oh, she's so sweet. All right, you can hang around for a bit there, honey. <clears throat> well, if it... Okay, so, right, Gil's full name, Jillian, right? G-I-L-L-I-A-N. Whenever I see just Gil, G-I-L, I'll go with the hard G. Like the money in the newer Final Fantasy games, not that I play those. It helps somehow, I really like this place. Yeah, the first person not to call this a hell hole, a small hole in hell, or a crack house. Say you're all right. You are all right. Aw, yeah, making friends. What do you like? The smell? What? No, why do you like the smell? <laughs> and why can people pick that out just like right away? Fucking hell. Gosh dang it. I don't know what's going on in the year of our lord 2070x here that people can identify dog piss just like right away. But whatever, I guess it's fine. Oh, she's nostalgic about dog piss, huh? Okay, say, that's a little weird. <laughs> that's a little weird, but whatever. No judgment out loud. No judgment out loud. Yeah, there we go. Good subject change. Very good students, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. You know, it's fair. Attacking my friend and was coming for me when I saw this other white knight saved us. Wait a minute. You're talking about this kind of omnipotent military force attacking somebody and then somebody else of that same military force saved you? What kind of dystopian ass future is this? I remember what happened, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. It wasn't like prophetic moment, blah 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 blah, fell this to my calling. I help people the same way they help me. Oh, that's a good reason. That's a very good reason. <clears throat> yeah, no kidding, right? Another one that saved you. Yeah, okay, so that's like... I would guess that would be evened out. That wouldn't push you towards one side or the other, but whatever, it's fine. I guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Good advice. Very good advice. Hey man, just because I do a dumb more often than not... Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I do get you, say. Don't worry about it. Why well, join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. Can I rescue you from the dire situation of having an empty drink, perhaps? At least paperwork involved. Nice. <laughs> White Knight is too broad a term. Yeah, that sounds like the overall military force, right? Rescue, assault, even a squad full of bureaucrats. Oh boy! Bureaucrats! Great! Perfect. Every fucking organization needs those. Get assigned to companies to handle accounting and that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually ask them for them because they speed up processes. You know what? Yeah, let somebody else deal with the bullshit, I guess, right? You're assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. What? No. That never happens. Also, a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. That seems like an awfully specific assignment for a military class unit. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. <laughs> I don't know, like 60 years in the future, that seems a little on the nose for today, but whatever. Some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity, that'd be nice, I think. Get you anything else, there we go! I don't know if I should, I can't afford that many drinks, besides I don't know really how much alcohol I can handle. Because you never drink, say? Is that what you're telling us? Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. Remember something called a martini? Yeah, a martini! There you go! 
Oh, Brantini. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure it's Martini. Yes, it is Martini. Jill, you don't know what you're talking about. Damn it. <laughs> All right, she wants a Brantini. That's fine. Oh, boy. All right, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. One, all aged and mixed. Aw, oh, yeah, here comes the jazz. <laughs> there you go. There's your Brantini, I guess. I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Yeah, that sounds nice. If she's as nice as you say, or he, I don't want, don't want to discriminate. If that person is as nice as you say, bring as many friends as you'd like. I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. Or you... <laughs> Never mind, I was going to say something else. Forget it. How do I pronounce GIF with a hard G? The way the Lord, our Savior, intended. It's a GIF. Not a GIF. It's a GIF. Might be a little difficult, though. She's more into um, classier places. Hey, come on! This hellhole crack house that smells of dog piss and dish soap isn't the worst thing in the world, is it? It's not that it isn't nice, but... Oh, man. Oh, no. I know the kind of place I work in. Yeah, fair enough. Shouldn't be too bad, I just... Oh, shit. The, the screen did a little shaky shake. What happened? Yeah, no shit. What was that? An explosion. Uh, did you pay me? I don't know. Yes? Alright. See you later, Say. Hope you come back. You were a nice lady. Oh, she left her helmet. She probably should have taken her helmet with her. Uh. Yeah, be careful, Gil. Whoa! Oh, alright. That's right. The, 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 the unconscious lady that the boss brought in, I suppose. Good evening. Welcome to Valhalla. Don't worry. You're in a bar. Don't worry about it. You're fine. <laughs> Dirty GIF people. No way, man. It is GIF. Hard G GIF. Graphics interchange format. G -g 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 GIF. It's not graphics interchange format. <clears throat> ah, Vafel, hell, I my dad. <laughs> I just got that. That's really nice. I don't know, are, are you a, a believer in uh, Viking folklore there? Question mark, question mark, question mark? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar? True. Who would think their afterlife looks like a shoddy downtown bar? I mean, there's worse things for the afterlife to look like, but still. Partial offense taken. <laughs> nice. Afterlife. Not dead? No, you're not dead. If you're dead, then I'm dead. No death of the afterlife worth exactly, but you're breathing, right? And you got a pulse, right? Then where the hell am I? I already told you, you're in Valhalla. How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Jeez, that's a lot of questions. Can I get you a drink first? Organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why did you single in on pickpockets after those significantly worse previous three options? Why aren't you saying anything? You are not letting me get a word in edgewise here, lady. I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapist, aren't you? Rapist... Okay, now we're, now we're on to the much worse one. Uh, that's her my clothes beat me unconscious. I have horrible ways and brutally mur... Goodness sakes, lady. Calm down a little bit. Wow! This is... Whoa! Suddenly, this jazzy tune does not match the mood. <laughs> murder, 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 murder. Wow, lady, come on. Stop. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or to throw at her face. Give her something that will calm her down. Oh, my goodness. Uh, every drink here is priced at 500 bucks. Holy shit. Um... Something to calm her down. Uh, probably something strong, right? That's what I'm feeling. How about a suplex? That'll calm somebody down. More emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. How to Mars Blast? 
Spicy, manly, and strong. Something to calm her down. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, what would... Mm, what would calm somebody down? A bubbly drink? Fringe Weaver? Jesus, that's strong. That's probably too strong. Um... How about a frothy water? Bland. Well, let's see. If I woke up in a strange-ass bar, what would calm me down? A strong-ass drink. A free strong-ass drink. But, uh... Uh... Maybe a sweet drink, huh? How about a sparkle star? Yeah, alright. Let's go with this one. One, two, one powder delta. Let's throw in a little bit of something, something for her. All aged and mixed. There you go. How about a drink, honey? What is that? It's a drink, lady! This is a bar! Please. A bar? Yes, I'm pretty sure we said that. Give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. There we go, see? Jill, you and I are connecting. A free, strong drink. Okay, roofies I get, TTX, it must be some 2070X drug of the future. Pumpkins? Okay, pumpkins are a bad spice. <laughs> I'll say it, I don't care how unpopular that sentiment is, but pumpkin spice stuff takes like shit. God no, I wouldn't even think of it, putting pumpkins in a drink. <laughs> Your story makes you suspicious, you know? Well, oh, fine, you don't want a free drink? I'll drink it then, Jesus. <laughs> if I ever added anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay in tips. That's a very forward-thinking way. <clears throat> Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, BC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. Show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Ugh. <laughs> Even if you say that, oh, lady, I'm giving you a free drink, and I'm a bartender, all right? If you can't trust a bartender, who can you trust? If you go outside, head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks, tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Wow, Jesus, she didn't even question that at all, she just went for it, huh? Whoa, two flying cars, well, at least in the future... The year of our lord, 2070X, we've got some flying cars. Any damage? Well, presumably the cars are totaled. All in the street, don't know about the drivers or anything. Well, that's good, Gail. You're paying attention to the important stuff, I guess. Either way, I think I'm done here. Are you? Did you, did you clean the bathroom, Gil? People are still complaining about the dog piss smell. What about... Oh my god. Oh, yuck! <laughs> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, if... Gil, if they got it on the ceiling and in the vents, the toilet paper dispenser is a no-fucking-brainer. Come on, man. Bandages at first, huh? Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. See? Alright. There you go. But she could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Jesus, this lady, admittedly, is probably justified in not trusting me. But whatever. Good point. First of all, it's not my name. It's my boss. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bo Never heard of spicy chicken, but okay. Finally, not making you drink this. I offered you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. Just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happens. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost, except this free-ass drink I made. It's not getting any colder. You implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Uh... <laughs> you saying my presence is so unimportant? Jeez, this lady. Wow. All right. Well, apparently nothing I can say to her will make her happy, so whatever. Yes. Eh? <laughs> What about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of my work go to waste so easily? 
L look, lady, if you're not gonna drink it, I will, okay? How about that? No, I, well, I'll let you know that I'm not unimportant, that your work does matter. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. Uh, I really wish they had, like, a drinking animation or something, because I can't tell what they're doing with it. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. All right. Help me calm down a bit, I think. All right, good. You okay? You probably shouldn't have chugged it. Shouldn't have shotgunned that drink. If I were you, would have probably reacted the same way. No shit, right? Came out as insensitive. Well, it was logical, but yeah, I guess it was a little bit insensitive. <clears throat> Stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. How about a name? Could could we get a name so I can yell at you properly? Miss question mark, question mark, question mark. Miss Cutie. Tell me how you got here. Well, the boss brought you in. On your unconscious, brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I see. This is better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organ. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's a real good point. How'd you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? Yes, I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. All right, fair enough. It's your business. Your business. Your business. Of course. Tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Very kind. Why did you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. I don't know that we've necessarily caused her any trouble, but whatever. Sentiment well understood. Bump, bongo, bump, bump, bang, bang, bump, 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 bump. We might need another drink right now. But she just like chugged the first one a couple minutes ago. This might not be the best idea. Take you on your offer. I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Okay, uh, do you want some like bar nuts or something? Some popcorn maybe? A little bit of salt to... <clears throat> Whatever. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. Piano Man, the thing I failed to make in the tutorial because I didn't read. One, two, three, five powder delta. Five flanergide. Oops, don't age it though. Uh, five, three, five, five, and three karma All on the rocks. And mixed. Ba -ba -boom. Here you go. Have a Piano Man. Yeah, that's the one. Dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Man, I hope, uh... Hope nobody named Martini tries to kill me. That would sour me on the drink, too. What did he do, your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that? <laughs> pianist. Wrong place at the wrong time. Wow. Pianist had a real murderer streak in him, huh? Relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, gets serious real quick. Still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. It can do that to you. Jazz can take you places. The yeah, man has an interesting story. Originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend that, of his that had just died. Mixes all of the flavors said friend liked the most. Well, usually mixing a whole bunch of flavors doesn't turn out too well, though. I do have experience in that regard. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of the long, hard day at work. Yeah, you know it, honey. Not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Falling into it? You literally woke up here. You ain't fall into nothing, honey. <clears throat> Where do you work, Miss Kim? All right, we got a name. Kim, how you doing, Kim? I don't know if I can say work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Are you an intern for that dickhole, Mr. Donovan? Ah, shit. I hate when I'm right. Honey, you best get out of there while the getting's good. Hmm, <clears throat> Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. Hey, you smelled his cologne over the dog piss and dish soap, apparently. We're improving the overall atmosphere. Bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. 
God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> ah, that's, that's a good insult. I might steal that one. I like that. That's a real good insult there, Kim. <laughs> oh my goodness. Harsh words. Not untrue words, you notice. We haven't denied it. I kind of admire the way he does stuff. Well, he's, you know, you gotta admire a certain ruthlessness about business people, I guess, but they can still be right dickholes. Got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. I left a whole bunch of back doors on that server. At least that's what I would have done. <clears throat> Whole week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. <laughs> nice. Did you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. Well, you know, sysadmins doesn't take a whole bunch, but I'm bum. <laughs> Also, if, if people could remind me of that awesome insult, chauvinistic horse blower, near the end of the night tonight, I'd be very grateful, because that's a great insult. Kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. I'm going to have to work for him. It's... Ugh. Why are you even working there, then? Exactly. Why? I asked something I shouldn't have? Oh, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Okay. All right. Your business is your business. What's your name, bartender? Jill, apparently. Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender? Not really. We get a recipe book and a really easy point and drag and click interface. It's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Uh, I guess. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. Yeah, I had to make a drink just based on the word Class C, right? Yeah, Class C. Apparently I did a damn fine job of it. The hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. <laughs> uh, we make Gil take care of that, though. Don't worry about it. One point I thought about being a bartender. Uh, you might be able to do that, Kim. I could use an intern back here behind the bar. <clears throat> I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Uh... Kim, that's not a bartender. That is a pole dancer. <clears throat> Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? Guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack in that one. Boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Boss sounds like an interesting person with what, what with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. Eh, I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about my boss. I know that she's got a mechanical arm that she dealt with armed rioters, and that she puts you here for safekeeping, I suppose. That's, those are the three things I'm aware of. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. I mean, you, you gotta own your emotions, you know? Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days for some reason. Even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. Aw, oh, yeah! Here we got the control fucking theme going on. Also has this mechanical arm. No idea how she got it, but heh. But you know something about her? All right, I got carried away. Fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. Wait, break? Uh, how did I break it? I was spouting off some really deep shit, sort of. <clears throat> Be nice to meet this boss here sometime and thank her. Well, presumably she's in the building? Bar somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't know. I shouldn't pester her that way. Besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. Ask her another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. Yeah, no shit. What's what's your tolerance here, lady? We can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. Okay, a Brantini. We can do that. We've done that already. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And one, all aged and mixed. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. There you go. Seems like the stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Is this job like a lifelong dream or something? Eh, I can think of worse jobs than a bartender, to be honest with you. You could be a sysadmin. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it just kind of happens. One thing led to another, and BAM! Bartending. 
Also made quite a bit of money on one night, apparently. Regret not fulfilling a dream? Uh... The dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Okay. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being a sysadmin man there, G.I. Jones. I'm just, uh, just getting my jaunty pokes in there while I can. I'm sort of a sysadmin myself, personally, so I will, I will poke fun at part of my own hobby. I can't say I've given up on that, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. Yep. Damn adulthood getting in the way. Ever had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Like what? Like what? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. <laughs> okay. Childish dreams, yeah. <laughs> Uh, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. Aw, that's cute. No dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase. No. Aw, that's kind of sad. Fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. AI is hard shit, man. But it's interesting. It is very interesting. Picked up something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. That's right. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow a little bit and see where life takes you. Oh, Gil, you done with that bathroom? Finally? Okay. How the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Well, it's really easy, see? You take the toilet paper in your hand, you open the window, and you throw it out there, Gil. It's not rocket science. Fine. Good night, man. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Well, does it no longer reek of dog piss in here, I hope? And who is he? Oh, don't worry. A ghost. Nobody should worry about. Just the dude that was cleaning the bathroom the entire night. <clears throat> hey, DJ Gamer 150 How you doing? Yes, this is, this is still day one. I'm getting my mileage out of this one. That's fun. This is a lot of fun. I heard that. Yeah, Gil, just go home, all right, buddy? Take a shower or something? Why are you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. We idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Probably. Probably. If you go chasing your dream job all the time, you'll just end up disappointed. I know that's kind of a downer way to look at things, but it's realistic. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. That's true. You take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn. Yada, 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 yada. Bump, bump. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. I am right. I am a bartender, after all. I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Alright. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Bye, Kim. You were nice. So we've had one dickhole, one edgy sorta of kinda dickhole, one very nice lady, and another very nice lady. Are we done for the night? I don't know, Dana, you're the boss. Like, you tell me when the night is done. Where's Gil, and where's the girl that was here? Well, she woke up, I gave her some free drinks, and then we parted ways. <laughs> left because you stank, that's right. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. Yes, her name is Kim, thank you. How does she look to you? How was she? She looked... okay. Oh, Dana, you know something. I mean, boss, you know something, don't you? You want to fill us in a little bit? I feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that just because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. I don't know, man. I don't know, boss. Dealing with the bathroom is kind of Gil's thing. I don't know if he deserves a bonus for it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, cool. Then we get a breakdown on what's going on. Set a goal per game. Yeah, I, I like to do different things per game. This one I really don't know a whole heck of a lot amount about, so I'm just going to go with completing it for now, and then if there's something extra there on after, we'll see what happens. All right, so we made 2730. We made zero mistakes. Ha-ha! <laughs> 30% commission is pretty damn fine. 
550 bucks in tips is pretty good. Flawless service bonus, 500 buckos. And an extra for helping calm the girl down. Another 500 buckos. 2,200 bucks in a single night is pretty fucking fly. I'll take that. Membership to shiny finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 bucks. Jill's lost thought about a hollow plant buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. A browse danger, you can now visit JC Elton's. Alright, so I've gotta have 800 bucks in three days. Alright, no problem, we can do that. I have a feeling Jill has a crush on the boss a little bit. You know, that's fair. She's cute. That is fair. What's she gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. Lol. So, alright, so I figured out that for four or four ray whatever no there's no accent mark so it's just four to me is my cat apparently uh okay let us see what we can do now let's read the dumb bullshit news i suppose local woman local hero oh are they talking about say this morning a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman the incident occurred at the artemis will mall where oh no Oh, was that boss saving that nice Kim lady? Oh. Oh, dang it. Why does shit have to take a dark turn? I was enjoying my cyberpunk not quite dystopia. Ah, uh, I hope I'm wrong about that. That's why I was approached to Mega Christmas. <laughs> All right, so in 60 years, it's no longer called Christmas. It's called Mega Christmas. <laughs> Oh dear. Neither for traditional gifts nor traditional dishes due to high prices and shortages. Look at the grip moment, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Looking for a definitive answer to their problems and taking out their frustrations out to the streets. I want, to, I want my holidays back. It's not fair that we have to give up on our customs because you idiots suck at economy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh dear. From the mouths of babes. Tokyo flu treatment, nowhere to be found. Oh, hey, that's probably Kim. Nice, she's writing articles. Oh, she wrote both of those articles. Oh, she didn't write this one, though. Hmm. So my suspicion that she was the one trying to commit suicide is kind of... Uh, but whatever. <clears throat> Even though recent medical advances... Blah, 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 blah. Let's see, she's currently facing financial crisis that makes this treatment near impossible to find locally. New places that continue to receive a supply of subsidized medicine lines can offer control rocks, blah, 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 blah. Unacceptable, blah, 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 blah. Only possible disease that can affect me can't be treated due to morons in high places. Ain't that the fucking truth? Perennial, no matter what year you're in. Morons in high places. I want my quality of life back, you and me both, honey. All right. That's that's all the news that's fit to print, apparently. Uh Apparently we've got more news. Thank you, Counselor too. I swear now let's confess her feelings to best friend. Still unknown, how is she? But she's one of those cute clueless girls, can't catch your signals, blah 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 blah. It's right, it's gonna be difficult, blah 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 blah. Uh, Mary Miki. <laughs> that's supposed to be a reference to Hatsune Miku? Probably. Here for Miki, come on, on, blah, 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 blah. The idea don't pay attention to her. Everything else wants to help you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> oh, nice. You're a bartender there. That's awesome. I'm not, but I tend to play bartender at all the family gatherings, so I'm close enough to one, I guess. Oh, speaking of, this is bad. Wouldn't do for a bartender to be out of his own drink, so uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute.
All right, we back. We back, and we got ourselves a fresh drinky drink. And no, I'm not an Elky Sam. Thank you, though. Mmm, mm. that's good shit. You know what? I not so secretly love these kinds of games because I get time to drink and yell at people and or things. So when I start getting louder, you know I'm having a good time. What? So let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What it says on the tin? So what's the news on them? Drawing a blank? Haven't heard of Alice in a while now. Blah, 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 blah. There's constant rumor of terrorist attacks. It's scary with that stuff, please. Since when do people on the internet lie about terrorist attacks? Gee. When we attack, it will be funny to see those white knights fucks do nothing but drink. Hey, drinking is an important pastime. I will not hear you cast aspersions on drinking. You little shit. All right, Sam. Yep, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Lurk more. I don't really use a funny ask you drawing in a message like, Happy not birthday. That's a pretty tame message. <laughs> I mean, fuck, why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell, Alice was one that we leaked all the internal White Knight memos. You literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try out your baits, lol. And another thing about Miki. All right. Limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going. <laughs> My boyfriend. Why would you lie on the internet? Everybody lies on the internet. Who are they trying to fool? Fucking normies, get out. Cute. I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little crush. Come on, man. Don't be so judgy. I'm going to confess. Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. I still don't know if I like her. <laughs> that is cute. So wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How? You will understand once you are there with her. Miki concerts some magical shit. Oh dear. Failed drug reference or just weird internet bullshit? A little hard to tell sometimes. Alright, was there some other thing? Oh yeah, the shop. Alright, so I've got some money. I've got 2200 bucks to spend. Fuck! Let's spend some shit. Uh, Alright, there's some mention about a little hollow plant or whatever. Hollow plant. How much? 600 bucks! That's an expensive ass plant. Oh, also I should save. You're correct. I will save after I buy my vain ass bullshit here. Wait a minute. What's this? Can I look at it before buying it? Ah, I want to see a picture of this because I'm pretty sure this is a reference to 2064. Uh, all right. So we, she, there was some mention of a hollow plant. Let's buy a hollow plant. Yeah, we bought a hollow plant. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing it's gonna show up in my thing. Yeah, there's the hollow plant. Oh, it looks all blocky and cute. Looks all, all blocky and cute. All right, we should save. Let's save. Save Arino. Let's uh, let's live dangerously and save over the fucking save file. There we go. Okay. Bump, bump. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, what was the what was that insult I wanted to remember? Uh, chauvinistic horse blower. All right, yeah, that's a good insult. <laughs> mm. Chauvinistic horse blower. That's really good. <clears throat> okay, I think it's time. Is it time to go work? Let's go to work. December fourteenth, day dose, I suppose. Day two, right? Good evening. Hey, Jill. Whoa, hey, hey, that's, uh, that's Say's helmet. What are you wearing Say's helmet there for, uh, Dana? Or boss, whatever. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jill, you even squawk like me. That's great. I love it. That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? Just about to ask you where it came from. Well, we had some... Oh, man, they got rock'em, sock'em robots going on in the background, I guess. Man, that blue mask dude is getting his shit beat out of him. White night came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. Figured she'd eventually come looking for us. I left it under the count. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? <laughs> nice. Don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. You just act. That seems like a... Yeah, that seems like a good thing for certain things, but whatever. 
Who's your boss? I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. Alright, well what if I wanted to wear it while I was serving some drinks, okay? Ruining my fun. <clears throat> oh, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and, and really, really cool. It is a pretty cool helmet. Alright, I will grant that. Hey, Gil, did you wash the stench of dog piss off you? Yeah, traffic was- Ah! <laughs> what a shit. Oh, Ron, you have work to do. Lol. Not going back to Hong Kong. Oh, dear. Oh, Gil is in trouble with immigration, apparently. Ah, lol. <clears throat> I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sure there's tons of references here I'm not getting, but it's funny anyways. So what, where now? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> she seems happy. Well, she found that cool-ass helmet. Who wouldn't be happy? Since these past couple days, she's somehow relaxed now. Good. Are you all set? Yep. Yep. Get back to cleaning that bathroom there, Gil. Oh, that's right, we gotta- we gotta pick our shit here, so, uh... Uh... I don't know, I kinda like the mix we already have in there, but... Oopsie. Uh, let's try to pick out the stuff we haven't redone yet. Eh, yeah, that sounds pretty nice and upbeat. Okay, that sounds alright. Kind of funky, I like it. That's really super chill, not quite feeling it. Okay, sounds good. March of the White Knight. Knights, right? Oh, I think we've heard that one. Those who dwell in shadows, yeah. Yeah, boy, there we go, that's better. Oh man, all these tunes are so good. Mix drinks and change lives, that's right. Oh, hey, what? Uh, you chauvinistic hosh blower? What are you doing back here? <laughs> what a shit. Yeah, luck, no shit, right? Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? A beer, perhaps, right? Yeah, I guess he wants a beer. What's in a beer? <sighs> All right, well, he seemed pretty happy when I gave him a big ass beer, so let's give him a big ass beer. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixer need. Bam, have a beer. <clears throat> yes, now that's what I call service. Yeah, you're lucky I just started my shift, you asshole. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic, but I decided not to do my job and just told them to write about whatever. Ah, oh, jeez. Crazy bitches came flagging to me like the first high schooler with the car. Ah. Oh. Yeah, all right, chauvinistic horse blower is making a lot of sense here. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor set. What? How do you figure that much? What? How? I'm supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hell hole with my present. Hey, small hole in hell, excuse me, Mr. Donovan. That's what you said yesterday, alright? Little shit. There's gal that's performing in a concert later tonight. Miki, right? I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. Like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with the... <laughs> wow, this guy. This fucking guy. Let's see, how was the interview? Oh, I don't know! I didn't go, I didn't go do it. You know, the fact that the guy... Oh, tch, yeah. This fucking guy. I'm a long way in the department of Lil... Uh, sorry? Excuse me? It was a Lillian, then. I'm guessing that's some sort of... synthetic. Oh, those new fancy King Class... Yeah, King Class, nice. 
Geo models, okay. Or they're an anatomically correct in every way. Gee, Mr. Donovan, what possible way could you mean? <clears throat> Finding out about that was oh my god, this guy. This fucking guy. <laughs> the guy with the John face. Oh, poor Gil, he can't catch a break. <laughs> the hell is a John face? <laughs> oh, what a dude. Hey, wait, weren't you the guy that was cleaning out the dog piss out the bathroom yesterday? Whoa. Gil, you're 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 talking about a lot of weird shit here. You might want to shut your trap. Certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. Look like a guy who owes me a drink. Uh You were in those riots. I look like some anarchist hippie to you? No, you look like a chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Gonna get my mileage out of that one. Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. Hmm. Silicone for what, Mr. Donovan? Hong Kong, talking to some investors and those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws were they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? Openly trying to segregate people with Augs. Oh, jeez. What is it with the dystopic cyberpunk future and augmentations? Any different capabilities you put in between? Still segregation. Yeah, that's probably true. Once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. Well, stick a pin in that topic, I guess. <clears throat> this is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. Very laconic way of summarizing the incident. No shit, right? And there's a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. The plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Oh, boy. Why does all of this sound very familiar? Everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... You know what? Never mind. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. Oh, boy. This is starting to get in some deep-ass shit. Tell you what. Boom, buck a boom, buck a boom. Ah, that happened when I got out of high school. I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Yeah, scholarships are kind of hard to come by nowadays, and we'll agree with that. This even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. Then why would you even bring it up? How easy Chinese can be. Well, anything is easier than English. Put that route there right away. You know how to speak Chinese? Oh, no, I don't touch this stuff. No. The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil. Like, oh my god, this guy. This fucking dude. I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. Ah, uh, this... I, I'm really starting to despise him. I really am. Can I click on shit? Oh, I can change the channels! Shit! Cool. Yeah, let's leave that on. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks. Well, can I click on anything else? No, no, clicking around, nothing, nothing else is happening here. All right, whatever. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks. Well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Two weeks? Two, you expect me to believe that you learn Chinese in two weeks? I'm gonna call bullshit on that, Mr. Donovan. <clears throat> Why do I feel like you suddenly changed me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese, wait. When you say Chinese, you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Duh, buh, buh. Yeah, exactly, you fuck. What a shit lord. Yeah, exactly. Usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language that there is. Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. I learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Oh, you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. The Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. <laughs> like the true shitlord you are, Mr. Donovan. Alright. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? I don't know, you've been pretty fond of your beers. But a Mars Blast, I guess. Let's 
Six bronze and extract, one powder, delta, four flanagey, and one carmatine, all blended. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. One powder, delta. One, two, three, four. Oh, excuse me. And two carmatine, all blended. Ba -bom. Here you go. All right, guess I'll believe your story. My my story about what? About Chinese and Cantonese and Mandarin and all that? I don't know what story he's talking about, but whatever, it's fine. Interested in this interview you had? Can you tell me anything about it? I don't know any blogs, right? No microphones hiding between your. Dude, come on! Like really? A chauvinistic horse blower. I'm starting to dislike Mr. Donovan. <laughs> There's this one blog I wrote when I was 12 and it just fills me with shame. I try to forget it exists. <laughs> Honey, who hasn't? Who hasn't? There are the same boring questions. How are you? Why choose this place? How's the city? The tour? New single? Blah, 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 blah. Went by very quickly. It was the regular interview stencil, as we call it in the business. I'm pretty sure nobody in the business calls it that, but whatever. Tried some fun que- oh. Fun questions, he says with a unconstipated face smile here. Those are shitty questions. How did she react? Yeah, okay. Well, let's just ignore those for the moment, I suppose. Bum, 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 bum. Answer them like it was the most natural thing on earth. Well, yeah, I mean, how else are you gonna do it, really? You got this chauvinistic horse blower asking you bullshit questions like that. What are you gonna do? I don't think I want to know what kind of questions other people have asked. Uh, don't get any ideas there, Mr. Donovan. <clears throat> I did just to get a reaction out of her, but she just took it in her stride. In case you're interested, the answers were 91 centimeters, depends on the costume, and no. Shit, what were the questions? Were they important? Oh, right, uh, size of boobs, do you wear underwear on stage, or was underwear on stage the last one? Ah, fuck it, doesn't matter. Room backstage is filled to the brim with gifts of all sorts, stalls, blue roses, chocolates, fruit, at least three dildos. <laughs> okay. You know, as shitty as this dude is, I like the writing of this game. It's, it's very... It's very real. I like that. I like that a lot. Thanks for the info, I guess. Perhaps too much info. Thanks anyways. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. You just had two drinks, so I hope you're in a good mood. What a shit. Look at the time. Need to get back to work. Really? You don't have time for one more drink? I'm not posting it after the after the chick finished the concert is enough of a problem already, really? And delayed the interview? Yeah, I was here. Oh. The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. Well you dumbass. One of the editors, meek little girl, is supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. Hey, I don't want to hear you talking shit about Kim, alright? She's a sweet lady. Two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating. You have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. Okay, then one last drink. What do you want? Something bitter to wake you up. I don't know, alcohol really doesn't wake you up as a depressant. It doesn't help you out, wake up, or whatever, it's fine. But I guess I will give him some to taste. Uh, something to wake him up, though. That probably wouldn't wake him up. A gut punch? Would a gut punch wake you up? No, probably not. What else we got? Grizzly Temple? Nah. Uh, Sunshine Cloud? There we go. All right, this will this will work. And two Edelheid and two Bronson extract. Optional Karmatrine. All right, let's. I'm feeling generous with this dude, so whatever. On the rocks and blended. Shika 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 shika. Suddenly blended. Bim boom bam. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Yeah, you mean the one that's doing your job, you little shithead? 
Joel Jean Guillermo Hirohito. Wow, that is quite the span of names. You can't even get the first syllable consistent, really? He's always gushing about that idol I interviewed. Can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. I don't know, I feel like I'm co I cock blocked him big time by taking his gig away. Ah, Unfortunate. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a peg. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. That's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. Well, you did it anyways, you shitlord. No saint, kid, but I'm a man. Yeah, you sure are. Certainly doing a good portrait of most men. <clears throat> a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to- Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right there, Mr. Donovan. What if it's your- Oh dear. Okay. What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Well, you might have after all the drinking you've been doing in the past, like, 20 minutes. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work and I need him to be at my beck and call for my- Ah, oh, damn it. Seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Oh boy! What a fucking saint you are! Give him the food critics column. It's shit anyways. <coughs> You're so fucking nice. Yeah, you're real fucking nice. Real fucking nice, all right. Yeah, see you later, Mr. Donovan. Fucking chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. Well, that was um, tiring. Yeah, Jill, you have no idea. Hey, Jill, I think you have a problem. Other than you can't take off that sweet-ass helmet. Can't take the helmet off. Boom, called it. <laughs> oh, Gil, I don't know if I would be laughing so loudly about that. <clears throat> Very funny. Did you check the internet for help? <clears throat> How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet. It's not precisely a common query, you know? Well, the internet is full of weird bullshit, so did you try it anyways? <clears throat> Could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ah, but I'm bum. Change the channel. Asking about Alice Rabbit or whatever. Ah! <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. I like that. I like that. 60 buck cup noodles. All right. Hey, Whale Texture. How you doing? You just finished streaming for the first time in a long time. Well, nice, dude. That's great. I hope you're going to do it more often. I'd really like to see some of your streams. I really would. I think last time you did it, I was busy or some shit like that. So I'd really like to see your streams. Uh, this is Sir Valkyrie and Valhalla. <laughs> the Gil is a real, real fucking stand-up comedian, aren't you, Gil? Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. What, say? She was a real sweet lady. That's also her helmet. Give it her back, please. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Uh, unclogging is not the word I would have chosen for getting a helmet off my head, but whatever. I heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. Maybe. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. There's no god or booting. It was just balls. Wow. Okay. Alrighty, then. Let's hope you're right. Well, I mean, what, what are you going to do about it, you know? Whoa! Shit! Dorothy, hey. I think can I see? I can see you. You're literally standing right there. Yeah, who sold you what? That you're expecting to be invisible? Dorothy? Yeah, I'm going off for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bake. Wait, what? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. We'll be back in a bit then. What the fuck? Sidebar. <laughs> oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic jammer, not an optic camouflage system. What? A Vic? Oh, okay. I got you. Valkyrie something something integrated camera or whatever. I mean, that's what I'm gonna guess. Seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? Maybe. Why? Why do you ask? I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see, and the other person is invisible. Come again? Yeah, exactly. Come again. People out there with a fetish for invisible pe a Fetish for invisible people. 
There's stranger shit out there, let's be honest. There's stranger shit out there. You can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I guess, you know, imagination is a powerful thing. I'm trying to find something that would let me cater that finish, but my contact misunderstood my request. <laughs> Bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Ah! Bim boom bam, I got you, Dorothy. Wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm. Good points. Oh well. We're gonna get something out. We only get a nano camo watch. Heard a nano camo? Well, I have now. You gonna tell us about it? Military tech company that recently branched to civilian appliances. Use nanotech to make fabric or other materials that take any color or texture you want. And then change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Well, that sound that all sounds very useful. Does it have to do with what you want, though? Exactly. If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. I was quite pricey. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not quite perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we Lilim see... Okay, so you're a Lilim, huh? Whatever that means. Things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that? Talking to yourself again, quote-unquote? Hey. Just because I talk to my cat, I have weird parenthetical notes that I say to myself. And I guess that's it. Nothing important. What do you have? Give me a piano one. All right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. And one, two, three. Aged and mixed. Shaka, 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 shaka. Boom. There you go. Thanks. Love these ones, you know? Keep them for special occasions. Whenever I'm feeling, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. So doesn't that cover most occasions? Except when you're feeling just meh. Oh, oh, trust me, Omega Weapon. I've seen more than I care to see as well. It's kind of a... It's, that's the risk you take going out onto the internet, you know? And today? Today you feel good. All right, well, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're in a good mood there, Dorothy. That's nice. How's this for a bonus payment? Uh... A ticket from Friday. What ticket? What are you talking about? That was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Uh, you mean the dogs that fucked up our bathroom with piss? Ugh. Then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know. If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit in the rain. Oh, uh... I don't know, Dorothy. You keep me fed and I'll keep you comp. Hmm. I don't know what this I don't know what to think about this one so far. Keep going for now. Still need to pay if you want to get naughty that ah oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, well that's probably exactly it, right? For fuck's sake. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, uh, uh... <laughs> oh dear. Finish that sentence, I'll make sure you truly become invisible. <laughs> oh yeah. Fine. Consider this a standing offer though. Alright, you know what? Fair enough, Dorothy. You know, I ain't gonna judge out loud. Oh, hey John. Ah, poor Gil can't catch a break. Let's see your last Friday. Is dealing with some stuff over the weekend and Monday. Yeah, yeah. What is it? <laughs> oh dear. What did you do? What did you do? Gee, I think we already know what he did, but whatever. Rather not talk about it. Hell yeah. What? I think he was in Hong Kong dealing with some riot bullshit, right? Nebulous? If you're so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Yeah, 
Mr. Edgy McEdgelord from the previous day taught us about that, right? Boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Lol. See? That's exactly what I say, too. Don't judge out loud. I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know? Yeah, nobody's talking to you, Gil. Why don't you go clean that bathroom again? Did I tell any lies? No, but... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Then never you mind, okay? You want to come back here and serve the drinks? Then never you mind. <laughs> Why was she wearing a helmet? Wouldn't you like to know, Dorothy? She found it. Oh, whoops, I accidentally clicked by that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. Yeah, don't plug in random USB drives anywhere. Any either, uh, please. Good PSA for everybody. No oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Ah, uh, please don't finish that thought. Yeah, a bit early. Well, I have no idea what time it is, really, as it's time for a $60 cup noodle. Or, uh... Whatever the fuck is going on up there. Nope. <laughs> it's never too early. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. Oh, is it because the nano thing I bought worked? I have a job too, you know? Really? Yeah, but you usually come before you st <laughs> Oh, dear. Okay, I'm not, I'm not touching that one. Not touching that one. Oh, did you miss me that much? I don't know. This is the first time I've seen Dorothy, so whatever. Bit different. Worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Yeah, we probably shouldn't. This is weird, but not kinky weird? <laughs> Question mark? Guy paid me to spend all day to pretending to be his daughter. Oh, no! Oh, don't tell me. What's his face? Um, Stupid kind of idiot name. Ingram. 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 Oh, no. Don't tell me Ingram's paying you to... Oh. Uh, uh... At 11 a.m., dress as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, and go to bed when ordered and leave. Ah, damn it. Only sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground. And oh, no. Ah, please. Don't. After three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah. One day a year for three years now. <laughs> this music doesn't match at all, but it's still a kick-ass tune. Last year, he wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Okay. Second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. It seems she died. Aww. Aww. Ingram's dealing with some shit, huh? Well, I kind of feel bad a little bit now. Attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? The ones with... Yeah, that's right, you said nothing. You don't want to step into that minefield. Moonblast, huh? Alright. Well, she seems the chatty type, right? What's a Moonblast got? 6112. Is that. That's perfect 10. Alright, let's make it a big ol' Moonblast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, not ice. Actually, it is on the other So, 1, 2. 12, 2 Powder Deltas, 2 Flanergize, and 1, 2, 3, 4 Carmatrines. On the rocks and blended. Shaka 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 Tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Hey, it's just like the kind of drink I like. <clears throat> I see something about a concert outside. They don't ask for a biggie, make it big, it's a failed drink, really? Oh, well, she seemed to like it, all right. Yeah, oh well. Now that you mentioned it, I remember seeing a line to the stadium a couple blocks away. They couldn't take their eyes off me, so I took some photos with them, lol. Why do you ask? Someone was here just a minute ago since you're interviewing the star of the show. What? That chauvinistic horse blower, Mr. Donovan? Yeah, what a shitlord. Some girl didn't tell me her name. Seems like a king class. Ch uh, CH1A, whatever. 
Hey, dinner and welcome back. You just missed us uh, chatting up the patrons a little bit. Don't worry about it. What's with that reaction? Nothing. It's just that CH1A is the model that comes after mine. Huh. Okay. Really? Yeah, I think they're so important because they have more sensitivity points in their skin. <laughs> yeah, this is cyberpunk, all right. Because their voice modulators are more advanced. They do? Oh, she's getting a little she's getting a little fed up and maybe a little jealous there. She's got the little pouty face going on. No, I'm just kinda jealous. Yeah, I called it. Fucking called it. I mod myself to have what they have from the get-go, you know? Wait, they don't make the SC 72s like you anymore? Oh, it's quite alive and well, thank you very much. Oh, she's got the pouty face, it's actually kinda cute. Oh goodness. So that she is, and also they sacrifice functionality for appearance. Oh, isn't that the ultimate trade-off? Won't have an expansion port in their heads, and their senses and abilities are more akin to those of humans. Also, for human standards, while my line is slightly more work-oriented. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I saw the concert poster outside the bar. Poster? You work here. You should know which one. Well, I. They only give me a certain number of screens to look at here. What post are you talking about? Is it this one here? Like right on the wall behind you? Because I can't really read that. I had to forget things on the on that entry from time to time. All because of Dee Dee and Gogo. Alright. Who? Vending machines outside. Ah. Talking vending machines. Certainly a hallmark of the year of our lord, 2070X. I was wondering why their volumes were reduced so much. <laughs> Interesting to talk with, they just talk so much. You actually get physically sick from listening to them for too long. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Jesus! That dude is rather ripped, isn't he? Good evening, Gil. No, 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 call him John, please. Welcome to... Does this happen a lot? Not really. Happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Hey, stop it! We're going with Jill, alright? Gil or John or whatever the fuck we're calling you. Sure, every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. <laughs> oh, 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 that's really good. That's a really good insult too. Fine, fine. Be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. No, no, I got this covered, man. <laughs> it's hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. And how the fuck did you know his name? Oh, nice! That does look very much like him, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I might have put two and two together at one point, but now that you say it, he's certainly more ripped than Jensen. I will, I will give you that much. But I bet he still didn't ask for this. <laughs> I got a hefty bonus the other day, and you're good in the mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Hey, don't turn down a free drink. All right, man. Take your offer, yay. Hey. Big sunshine cloud and just a gut punch. All right, all right. Big sunshine cloud, we can do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, Dorothy's been chatty and nice, so I'll go and give her a little something-something. On the rocks and blended. Shaka, 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 shaka. It is suddenly blended. Here you go. And a gut punch. I don't know this dude yet. I mean, he's a fucking big slice of man, so he can probably take his drinks, but still, we'll just go with the... We'll give him a little something something, but not too much. All aged. And just mixed, huh? Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a bam. Here you go. Bow 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 bow. Jonah J. Jameson. Yeah, I kinda figured that much, right? He was kind of an asshole like Jameson too, so what are you gonna do about it? Hmm. Don't mention it. 
And thank you, Jill. Well, you're welcome, Jamie. It is my job. <laughs> Ask you something uh, private. Oh, he's giving her the side eye a little bit. What's going on here? Ha. Ah. <laughs> Priceless card, oh boy. Discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. Oh, dear. Well, hey, you know, in the year of our Lord, 2070X, I'm glad we've advanced past the point where sex is some sort of taboo. <clears throat> Not about that. All right, all right. He's on the straight and narrow for now. Go ahead. Don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. I don't know, Dorothy. I can think of a few things. Is it true that DSC 72 line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after? Well, whoa. That's a hell of a first question. I'll tell you that much. After they violate every all your body. <laughs> And they don't shy away from it. You know what? If you're gonna lean into the whole sexual thing, fucking lean into it. Fucking lean into it. A semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. You're not exactly denying it, Dorothy. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Well, which one is it? That's a paradox. Care to explain? Yes, I would also like to hear this explanation. We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. Right, go on. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. Okay, well, it's alert mode. Makes sense. Boring! <laughs> Reminds me of the Metal Gear Solid thing. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories DSC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam! Whoa! Alright. Partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, dear. See. Besides, I modded myself so that much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I have to command their tenacity to be honest. Alright, fair enough. Well, it's urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance. <laughs> it's just silly. <laughs> yes, Dorothy, that's silly. Or futuristic ass Viagra. I get to ask you something. Well, he never agreed to that, and he never asked for this, but whatever. But turnabout is fair play, after all. How much of you is still organic? Well, certainly not this arm. Or this arm. Or this eyeball. Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Alright, you know, fair, 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 fair. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. Jeez, like, really? Do, we need, do, do I need to hear this as the bartender? I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Ah, okay. A man of class, finally. Finally. <laughs> Fine, see if I care. You care, Dorothy. You got the pouty face on. You care. You wouldn't have asked otherwise. <laughs> He's leaving me with the meanie. <laughs> oh boy. Clientel says, surprise me, either give them water or the most expensive drink you can serve. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She is a chatty bit, isn't she? She's quite chatty, but she's also interesting, so whatever. Earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard not to root for her. That's true. It is. Again, if you're going to lean into something, you lean into it 100%. You don't half-ass that garbage. No qualms about anything whatsoever, and it becomes a problem from time to time. Yeah. Oh, hey, Gil, you done cleaning that bathroom finally? <laughs> Need your girly hands for a second here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor John can't catch a break. Apologize for taking time from your break. Oh, don't worry about it, Jamie. You usually seem to have a blast when the gills. Wait, have we seen Jamie before? Or what's what's the deal? A Mars blast. All right. All right. I kind of like him, but. We'll just stick to the script here for a minute. Oh, we couldn't double this even if we wanted to. Five, six, one, one, two, three, four, one, two. All blended. Shaka 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 sh
There you go. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Whoa, shit. Getting deep suddenly. But you know, the thing about war is it never changes. I would guess he's been to war considering the eh and the eh and the eh. But whatever. Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. Whoa! Too real, bro. Too real. So you haven't been to a war. If, if by war you mean every day of my life, Jill. Not to an official one, at least. Oh, boy. <clears throat> First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know who this person is, but whatever. He's a professional assassin, apparently. I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. True, 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 true. Don't be judging out loud, Jill. Thanks a lot. Uh, I can't tell if serious or sarcastic. How you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Good advice for would-be assassins. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble so I don't raise suspicion. Yeah, good, also good advice. Finally, I can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. Really? What did Dana do? Seeing what she's done, I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Ah! Oh. Alright. New respect for, uh, boss, I guess. <laughs> he just said, lol, lol, lol. Wouldn't have to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? Where'd you lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue? Whoa. Sounds kind of badass, actually. Tried asking him? Told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery, yeah? People do need to have some mystery to them. Makes it more interesting. It leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. Also probably true. Believable because she's her. Lol. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. Whoa! If that's not a loaded statement. Says the bartender with a picture of her boss as her as her fucking home screen on her phone. And a big poster of her in her room. But whatever. Hey, what do I know? I'm just the dude playing the bartender, I guess. <clears throat> you should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Alright, finally. Always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break time. Alright. Alright, and with that, it is getting late for tonight. And despite the fact that we're having a real good time, we do need to hang it up for tonight. But we're gonna save, first of all. So, we're gonna stop here for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST will be continuing with this and pretty much as long as it takes until we finish the game and then we'll see what else uh, we can do afterwards. But this is really fun. This is starting to grow on me a little bit. I had a lot of fun with 2064 read-only memories. This is very reminiscent of that, actually. Also having a good time uh, yelling at people and or cyborgs and or sex robots. So, uh, we're gonna, you know, carry this to its completion, I suppose. <clears throat> Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.